making an early start today for chapter 33. So our word count start is 1023 and it is not even six o'clock in the morning. I still have a full thing of tea. Well, I've been drinking it. I also got my to-do list for the day, but I posted that yesterday. But yeah, got my Bob's Burgers giant cup now on to writing. Chapter 33 is done. Went from 1023 to 1302. Nice improvement. I also got up to 2000 steps and not even seven o'clock yet. So making some progress. I think I'm going to try and get all of the writing done this morning. So onwards to 34. Chapter 34 is done. Started at 1288. Now we are at 1433 and it is only seven o'clock. Doing much better on the steps today. I just have to make a point of like actually doing it because if I get it pretty much close before noon, like at least like 5,000, 6,000 steps before then, I will get it all. If I do not, like even if it's 4,000, it's not enough and I won't do it. So making progress. So another thing that I decided to add was timeline of my day because I feel like having a block of time is just going to be better. So I got started around 5.30 this morning, planning on writing until about 9. Then adulting stuff from 9 to 11 because I feel like a couple hours is good. And then I'm just kind of keeping track of the steps throughout the day. I think this is what I need to do because otherwise like the executive like chaos starts to kick in and it's like, I don't know, what should I do next? But having this blocked out seems to be working, I think. Chapter 35 started at 1,082. Now at 1,307 and it's not even 8 o'clock yet. Doing quite well. 4,000 steps before 8 a.m. And I only have one more chapter left to do. Another short chapter. Started off at 670. Bumped it up to 847. And it's not even 815 yet. I'm really surprised writing went by as fast as it did. I think I would still keep this time block though, because it does give me a little bit of free time. So about 45 minutes left of the hour that I'd set aside to get to nine. I think I'm going to try and get some steps in. I don't know that I'll get to 6k because that's the next one, but I think I'm going to bump the shower up to here so that I can get my hair drying because it's going to take forever. Joys of long hair. Also, yes, the torn pages is somewhat intentional. Once upon a time, I had different plans for this notebook. Anyways, nobody cared about that. I'm gonna go shower and have breakfast. And then we'll start on this chunk of stuff, adulting. I did half of this, but I'm counting it because I think I have to move a lot of stuff because this witchy corner is in front of the other window. But I at least got one of the two windows set up, so. We're counting it. I also haven't drank any water yet, and since I'm still waiting for the hair to dry before I can record, I'm gonna work on drinking some water. I think I'm gonna try and get to 6K steps. The doggo does not want to go for her walk. <laughs> I grabbed her harness and she just kept walking away from me. So it's like, all right, we don't have to go if you don't want to. So I think drink some water, get some steps, and then I might try to do the declutter box because I have this couch of chaos over here. So, and piles everywhere. So I'm just one little task at a time. So I think I'm gonna go through like one box of chaos and count that while the laundry's going in the background. Here is the first box, mostly notebooks. Not sure exactly where I'm gonna put it because the aim is eventually to have the notebooks live here, but obviously it's not really um, space for that to happen. So I don't know. We'll figure it out. All right, I did have to organize a little bit. So now we've got notebooks and the binders are now stacked. And I have an empty box that I can use. So I think this is gonna be the donation box because I've needed one. So we at least finally have one now, which is at least kind of a start. I think somebody is asking if we can try again for Dewalk. Cause she's like right up against my chair. So I think We'll try the harness again and see if she wants to. I'm not gonna force her if she doesn't want to, she doesn't have to, but she keeps kind of hinting. <laughs> she just, she hates having to be a kept dog. But leashed puppers are better 
the non-leashed puppers in public spaces. She just doesn't agree with that concept. But we're going to be the polite people of the neighborhood and keep ours leashed. And obviously the harness is better for her than her collar. So we'll go try it again. She's currently hiding over there and doesn't want to put on her harness. So it's a no. Ignore the dirty floor. That's a process for another day. But like literally, she's on my chair. She is just in a mood today. I don't know if it's because she wants to go, but she really, like she's learning that I'm not gonna play the game. Because normally we'll run around the house about 20 to 25 times, no less, of circles around couches, around like, our stairs around the center of our house. So like we'll go in big circles around the house until inevitably she will come to me, put on her harness and then we go. And today I'm like, no, I'm not gonna play this game. You can come or you can't, it's up to you. I don't care either way. And so she's pouting cause she really wants to go, but she really hates having to be a kept dog with her bra. And I'm like, I'm sorry, if I have to wear a bra to go outside of the house, you have to wear a bra to go outside of the house. And so she's pouting, but she really wants to go. So she's <laughs> like, I was recording earlier and she literally was walking between my camera and my dresser. My camera tripod is like really unstable on a good day. <laughs> so I had to like hold the camera while she's like pushing up to be like, but mama, I want to. She's so adorable, needy and definitely has tree in her tail, but adorable. Got the review of the video that needed to go up today. Finally rendering, laundry still going in the background. And it's almost lunchtime. So I think I might end up recording more this afternoon. I don't know. I don't know what I wanna see. This is how I always get like halfway through the day. I start to question my timeline of existence and I'm like I don't know because like I would love to take her for a walk but like she doesn't really want to because again I'm not gonna beg her to go to her harness because there are days she will come right up and let me just put it on she might walk away like a little bit and then kind of like begrudgingly come back she doesn't like to have to wear it I don't blame her she doesn't like having to have her little harness but she has to <laughs> and it's not like it's a bad one like, it's not uncomfortable, it's not too tight or anything, but she just doesn't like not having her freedom. And so, ironically, she loves her collar. If her collar's off, she throws a fit, but the harness. So, anyways, moral of the story is that that little hiccup, like, I swear, that's one of those things, like, the TikTok dysfunction brain people, <laughs> like, the um, executive dysfunction community discussions, talk about where it's like, you get... Like, if your, like, schedule gets off, your brain just, like, wants to, like, shut down because you're like, well, the rest of the day's screwed. I didn't do the one thing. And it's, like, actively fighting against that is so hard. And, like, I set my schedule. This was rough for me when I worked at, like, other places where I had zero say in what the schedule was. Like, it unnerved me to no end. Like, if I knew what was happening... I wasn't happy about it, but I could deal with it. But when they'd throw curveballs, you're like, oh my God, but like, I've mentally prepared for this. You've changed it. I can't deal with that. Brains are fun. But anyways, I think I'm going to read for a little bit because I am trying to get two months worth of um, content of books going. So as I knock everything over, this is the next one I'm going to be reading. It's a little tiny book, so I think I can get through this pretty fast. So this is The Essential Book of Wicca. Powerful Practices for from the Magical Craft by Marie Bruce. So, itty bitty little book from the library. I think I'm going to start on that and hopefully get that finished today. Because the next book I need to read is big and I have a lot of big books later this month. <laughs> so, anyways, moral of the story. I, didn't, I don't even know where that is. It tells you what branch, like, the book came from. Like, you can request it from anywhere in the library. But, like, I've never heard of this branch. <laughs> anyways, focus gonna go read that and then work on lunch. I don't know what I'm gonna do for lunch. I think I'm gonna cook some vegetables because I need to eat some veggies instead of just not. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna go cook me like a potato or something for lunch. Anyways, moral of the story. I'm gonna go read. I think I'm gonna, maybe I'll throw the potato in the air fryer. I love the air fryer because you don't have to babysit it. So maybe I'll do that. I'll cook a potato. Throw that in the air fryer. I need to buy, anyways, see, this is my problem. 
it's like the give a mouse a cookie is my life because now I'm like oh I need to work on the grocery list I need to buy barbecue sauce <laughs> anyways it's a fun time in my brain it really is time for some afternoon coffee because I'm freezing it's supposed to snow tomorrow and you can just feel the temperature dropping so fast so we got some Technically, it's coffee. It's mostly hot chocolate with caffeine. My husband loves it, so we have it in the house. And I was like, you know what? Feeling that. And because it's cold and supposed to snow tomorrow, we need Bob's Burgers Christmas time. But going to work on getting the notes ready for these. I don't know if I'm going to get it recorded before I've got to go get him from work. But going to at least try and get the notes ready. Maybe get a couple of them. We'll see. Okay, I'm working on my notes. But, like, does anyone else hate when you have, like, big rings? But then you're like cold, so your hand shrinks, and then you're typing away, typing away, typing away, and then this this doodado happens, and you're like, like, it's so annoying. <laughs> like, and it might be a sign that like I'm starting to lose weight, but like, it's so obnoxious when you're typing and typing and typing, and then inevitably that happens where it won't even stay. It does that, and you're like, this is you can't. It's in your way. It's so annoying. Anyways, back to notes. So I've gotten three videos recorded. And so I was planning on doing four. Four of the wand, or not the wands, the swords that I've been going through on the Learning the Tarot series on my other channel. But I think recording four videos total in a day is good. So I'm gonna pause for now. Gotta go get my husband in a couple minutes anyways. And so then I think I'll come home, edit a little bit, and then I don't know that I have that much else on the to-do list to do. So I got the hard task of the day done. I had a phone call that I had to do and having anxiety, phone calls are like my nemesis. So I had to get my car in for an oil change. And so I had to call, make an appointment. And so I finally did that because instead of taking the dog for a walk, I still needed to make a difficult phone call. So because I didn't do one hard task, which was more physically demanding, I did a mentally taxing thing, but I did it. It is done. So I can at least cross that off my list and then bring my car in later this week to do the oil change. But yeah, it's just, I hate phone calls. And I really hate when like you call a business and like the person who picks up the phone doesn't know how to answer phones. Like it's just, it doesn't help my social anxiety if I have to carry the conversation because you don't know how to do it. <laughs> Like, I know it's terrible, but I, every single job, I have always been, like, the good phone person. And so when other people, like, don't, it's so annoying. Because I don't want to have to carry the conversation. You know the stuff you need to be asking. Like, if I pick up the phone, like, literally, a conversation was like, hi, hi. Okay, so I need to bring my car in for an oil change versus hi thank you for calling blah 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 how can i help you hi i need to bring my car in for an oil change simple little fucking just little things and so like i would answer and then he's like okay to like when do you have an opening well uh finally we figured out a day and it's just like every step of the way and i'm like oh my god and then it's just awkward silence. And you're like, oh my God. Like some people need to like go take a college class on how to answer the phone or like just go to a business that has a call center so they can train you how to answer the phone. Because my God, it's not that hard. But like, I as the customer should not have to carry this conversation to be like, okay, uh, does the time matter of the day? Oh yeah, uh, you could, between this time. Great. Oh, uh, what, what's the name? Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so, see you Friday, I guess. Like, just, your customer shouldn't have to carry the conversation. And I know, it's a me thing, but, like, Phone calls are already stressful enough. I don't need to be having to carry the conversation where it's a very basic conversation that you should have multiple times a day at, at like an automotive place. Like, 
it should be boom, 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 boom. Like the other person who works there, our conversation's about 30 seconds. Hi, I need to bring my car in for blah, blah, blah. Okay, cool, what's the name? Blah, blah, blah. Okay, sweet, is it this one, this one, or this one, or this one? Because we have, like the whole family goes in, so it's like one giant account. So it's like, oh yeah, it's this one. Cool, okay. Blah, 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 time. Yep, cool, okay, got you down. All right, cool, see you then, bye, bye. Awkward silence, not necessary. So yeah, anyways, I did the hard thing. I'm gonna go work on some steps. Finally, 10,000 steps. About time, I've been standing here watching so many TikToks to get here. Hubby's in the shower, it's almost bedtime. I'm gonna try and get the Seven of Swords done tonight and hopefully get some more reading of this. I'm about halfway through. I think I might be able to finish it. Honestly, it's not gonna take that long. This is a really fast book because, I mean, it's tiny, so it won't take too long. And then hopefully the editing won't take long either. And here I am just working on the to-do list for the next day. I really like doing this the night before, but not letting myself plan like the whole week in advance. Just taking that couple minutes at the end of the day. So anyways, I'll see you all next time.